Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Sorry I'm getting your reading out late, your daily reading. Um, today is Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. It's 11.26 a.m. right now as I'm doing your reading. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Let's see what's going on. Taurus. Okay, so you're starting off with the hangman. This is Pisces energy. You might be dealing with the Pisces. It's kind of like you're taking a little time out here. Um, trying to cut, trying to. look at the bigger picture you might be working on something here Taurus that you're studying we're going to go back and clarify the cards we have the star Aquarius energy the two of pentacles six of swords Five of Pentacles. There's something here that you're wishing for. Five of Wands. And the Death card, Scorpio energy. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So, there's something here that you wish, that you want. There's this sense of with the four of cups here of not being completely happy where you are so this is why you're in this hangman energy trying to take a look at things how you want to do things differently specific messages for Taurus spirits. Why is the hangman here? Okay, we have the five of swords. The chariot, cancer. And the nine of cups. Yeah, there's something here that you're wishing for, and I feel like you know that you can do this. I'm getting this energy from you where there's a lot of confidence in what you're thinking about. And um, it's something worth fighting for, something that I see fighting for with the Five of Swords energy. It's almost like, I don't even know if it makes sense, but I'm going to say it. I see a couple people walking away here from you. But I feel like this is, <clears throat> this is a journey that is going to take you in a different direction that you're thinking about. It could even require a move. Someone's getting a new car. I can see that right now. I'm seeing a wish fulfillment taking place. And I see that you're thinking about this wish fulfillment and how to, how to actually set it in motion. Because the chariot is here and the chariot is a very fast moving energy, but the chariot hasn't started to, to go yet. But you're the queen of wands, male or female. So it's something that you really want that you're very excited about. 
The hermit, yeah. See, something that you have to do alone, and the hermit is carrying the star and the lantern, which is a wish fulfillment, a new beginning. So whatever it is, you're very passionate, very confident about what you want. And look at this. The Ace of Cups and the Sun. Leo energy with the Sun. I also see new love coming into your life. This new love, this new person is very, very attracted to you, Taurus. There's a lot of attraction here. I feel like this person watches you too. The world. This person, there could be distance here between the two of you. Yeah, see, there's someone here that, I mean, look at this energy. We have the Queen of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords twice. You're, there's someone here that's watching you. You have a spy. Um... And I'm seeing distance. This could be someone online. But I feel like you're in the process of moving into calmer water. But it's, it's something that hasn't completely gotten off the ground yet. But something that's going to move very quickly. Um, it, there's a lot of blessings here that are going to make you very happy. A literal wish fulfillment. Why is the star here? The five of wands. There could be a lot of competition in what you're doing. The knight of cups. Six of cups. Look at this. The star on the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy again. Queen of swords. There's an energy here, Taurus, of some type of new beginning that took off very quickly, that is ending very quickly with the tower. Picking up a past energy. I see new love coming into your life, but I'm also picking up a past person with the Six of Cups. There's someone here that's thinking about you. And um, I feel like this is a person that is watching you. There could be distance here. We have the Knight of Cups and the Five of Wands. I, I'm seeing someone here that's going to take action Even though there's a lot of conflict here about approaching you, I'm seeing someone here taking some type of action. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? We have the Six of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Someone showing up here in your energy, I see you walking away from them. They're very unstable. They're very on and off again. Breadcrumbing is here. There's a secret. There's something hidden from you. This person has a lot of love for you. They're very attracted to you, but they have a secret. Why is the Six of Swords here? star again someone has Aquarius in their chart the ace of pentacles again right now I'm seeing you moving towards this wish fulfillment someone here is literally moving but there's there's something 
on the other side um, of this water that you're going through right now with this dark place that you're heading to. And on the other side is this Ace of Pentacles, which we have twice here. So this is something huge. It's not something small. It's There's a lot of potential here. <clears throat> there's this sadness that lingers in your energy with the Five of Cups. But something here is changing. We have three fives in a row. The five of cups, the five of pentacles, and the five of wands. So even though there's sadness over the past, I'm seeing you leaving the past behind you. There is someone here that's trying to come into your energy, though. I'm not sure if they're going to or not, but they're thinking about making a move. This is someone who's thinking about you. But they're looking at a lot of conflict here. The Six of Cups, someone thinking about you. The Knight of Cups, they're thinking about taking this action. But there's a conflict here with other people that they have to cross through to be with you. This person sees you as the Queen of Wands. So there's a very happy space to be with you in this person's eyes. And then we have the five of pentacles. Nine of swords. Someone is worried about money. Um, wow. Okay. The devil. You might be dealing with Capricorn. Something felt like it's your Ten of Cups or it feels like it's your Ten of Cups. Your complete happiness. Happy home, happy family. But you're dealing with the devil. This could be a marriage. Someone wearing a false mask. Someone um, breadcrumbing you. Making you feel left out in the cold. There's sleepless nights, a lot of worry maybe about money, like I said, or about um, the fact that someone has ghosted you. And this really affects you. I have another five here with the Hierophant. Um, you have a certain belief system, Taurus. Um, I feel like you believe in love. And you don't just abandon love. And whoever you're dealing with here is wearing a false mask or has addictions and they abandoned love. Five of Wands, again, there could have been an argument that took place that led up to this ending or is leading up to this ending. This is a general reading, so take the time frame how it resonates. Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Fool, and the King of Swords. There's a third party involved here. It doesn't have to be a romantic party, but there's a third party, which could be some type of an addiction. You might be dealing with an Aries. But these petty arguments, these petty games... I'm seeing you setting yourself free. You're not really sure what the future holds here, but I feel like you're ready to face this ending. You might be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the King of Swords, but you're making a decision to, this is about working on you, working on your money, your stability, your confidence, your health. Yeah, there's a, there's a new job or some type of an energy of something that you want that's moving towards you. 
at a pretty quick rate of speed, Taurus. There's good news coming in from somewhere. And then we have death and rebirth. And I feel like this, this decision that I see that you're going to make is going to change everything. Why is death and rebirth here? It's going to bring in something huge with the Ace of Pentacles. Why is death and rebirth here? It's going to allow you the time that you need so that you can create what you want to create in your own reality. Yeah, there's no holding you back now. It's the, the options are all yours. And so I see you wanting to choose this one particular option, but you have many options here. This person where this connection is coming to an end um, it seems like this person created a lot of illusion around you and could have um, said a lot of things you're going to do this you're going to do that together and none of it really happened it seems to be all an illusion I feel like you kept you kept um, working towards what these goals were with this other person, what they said they were going to do this, that, this, you know, all of these things. And you kept working on building this with them, but it was all an illusion. Two of Swords. It's like nothing ever happened. Nothing ever came of this. So now you're you're taking off the mask, making a decision to move towards this Ace of Pentacles that is showing up here in your energy. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? There's too much disappointment in this past connection, which is showing up strong here. This could be opening up your own business with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, see, death again, it's over. Out of this death, out of this ending, you might be dealing with the Sagittarius. But using your intuition and being patient is going to completely rebuild a foundation for you. And you know this. It's like you're the high priestess here. You can see right through this person. Even though you gave them a lot of opportunities, it's not going to go anywhere. It's a person who lives in fantasy land that was keeping you maybe even isolated here. But this death is bringing in a, a rebirth. It's going to bring in a lot of financial security, a lot of um, stability. Let me grab you. Um, and I do see new love coming into your life. What is important for Taurus to know, spirits? Okay. Right now, the sun. Plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. Plans that work out perfectly. There's a plan here. And we have the sun twice. The happiest card in the tarot. And a wish fulfillment showing up twice with the star. That I feel is the significant message here. Is there's a plan that's going to work out perfectly. Ten of spring. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So um, don't be afraid to ask for support from others, spirits are telling you. And Ten of Winter, the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. And we have Seven of Summer, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. 
confusion that arises from o from over analyzing the options yeah make a decision focus on one thing and it's going to bring you exactly where you need to go Taurus don't look at too many options and um, because that energy of too many options and not choosing an option will slow you down there's one particular thing here that you want that you need to just focus on that and just move towards that it's a wish it's something that you're wishing for Taurus and let me grab you a couple of these cards this Taurus need to know kindness take respite by a pond and be kind to yourself and others you might be working a lot right now or feeling overwhelmed try to take a time out trust the robin trust her wings not the branch she sits on trust yourself one more journey branch out to new worlds see you going on a journey here twice Retreat, spoil yourself in the morning mist, breathe in nature's sweet scents. So, all right, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And um, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and all of your support, your comments. Um, they are so kind and so sweet, and they mean so much to me. And um, I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.